What are we gonna do today, Jer? We're gonna go, we're gonna take a trip down memory lane. Okay, all right, cool. So we're gonna start with, uh, our first step on memory lane is the CBS that we just released. You released CBS again? It's true. Huh. I said I wasn't gonna do it again and then decided. That. Let's do it one more time. Oh uh, man, I'm so glad you caved. All right, let's see how it's doing. Nice and fresh. Nice and fresh. This has only been in a bottle for six weeks. Well, that is mapley and pleasant and woody, cocoa. I like it when the little tinge of cocoa still comes through. Yeah. You know? I especially love that it's like obvious maple, but it doesn't have this baggage of extra sweetness. No, no, yeah. It doesn't, it, it, it stops, right? So sometimes you have these things that are especially maple aged, and it's just, it's still, oh, I'm still sweet. And then five minutes later, no, I'm still sweet. Stop being sweet. Right? No, this is, uh, I think the way the coffee and the dark grains just cut through to, uh, you know, balance out that sweetness with some, with some uh, roastedness. And... Wow. Nice work. That tastes pretty good. So... <sighs> Now we're going to start to go back in time. Back in time. It seems like a good idea, but it might be dangerous. I, I've always uh, kind of uh, stewed away from um, aging beer, but usually I'm pleasantly surprised. CBS from 2017, back when uh, we were still, um, we just did it. I don't know if we were allowed to use the, uh, the Mountie, the uh, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Great organization, really care a lot about people kindly asked us to not do that anymore. Who, who, who am I to argue with the Canadian government? Uh, I'm sorry that we even uh, wouldn't want to do that. It should still be the same beer, but it has been in a bottle for some time. Listen, beer changes in the bottle. It really does. I don't know how this beer was kept. Did you keep this at cellar temperature, Allie? Was it cold in a fridge? It's just been sitting warm somewhere until you put it in a fridge before we're going to drink it? Semi-cool. Should I, I Is it not even cold right now? No, it's, it's cold. Oh. See, I didn't uh, put my safety glasses on, so we'll find out. Now, it's important to remember, this beer's been in a bottle for six years, but the beer itself was made a year and a half to two years before that right. because it is barrel aged. so right. um, soon it'll be old enough to buy cigarettes. Here we go. Oh. Stays in. Okay. Looks still pretty. Cheers. That's still pretty nice. You got this, uh, mm. to me, I get all this like licorice y like, candy, licorice yeah. candy on the nose. It's, it's, uh, it's part of the oxidation, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Got a little cardboard in the aroma, but, and then, like you said, it translates kind of as like licorice. It uh, hasn't gotten to the point, you know, the, the, yeah, I haven't got too far into like the oxidized black malt soy sauce in me. No, no. Right? Not so the sides of my, sides of my yeah. tongue are still pretty pleasant. That's, you know. Mm -hmm. For a six-year-old beer, that's pretty damn good. I would, I would be, I would be pleasantly surprised. I would to, be uh, totally surprised. I am totally surprised. I wouldn't say that it's as delicious and drinkable as the new stuff. Ah, oh, crap! The new stuff is so much better. I mean, what are we doing now? Should, I said four four packs before. Get five four packs. Make it six. Make it six. Just round out the case. Should we continue? Down Why the path. stop now? We've already... uh, this is the oldest one that we had laying around, I think. This was a few years later. This was 2014. This was a special edition employee holiday beer. Aww. Pretty sure we bottled this one by hand. Yeah, it's employee holiday beer. We definitely did. Ah, Staying still. Not for that. It, it glugs out of the bottle pretty nice here. I don't see chunks. No, no, I don't see any need to breathe. Now, hand bottling. You're not going to necessarily get the best headspace airs. I mean, I'm bottling. sure we tried to uh, purge the bottles as best we can. I'm sure we purged the bottles really well. I'm sure we didn't drink any of it while we were filling it. All right, That's well, it's 2014. I remember that year. Gosh, we had a lot of time. good times that year. Well, it doesn't smell like death or anything. Yeah, it smells like CBS. It's a little muted. Yeah, round. More than the last one. Definitely mm -hmm. round. The sweetness seems to be a little stronger. Huh? Yeah, for sure. 
The sweetness is still there. I feel like the maple is transmogrified into something else. It's not distinct maple sweetness, but it's overall like... Some kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm. Now I'm, so, now after it sat there for a second, now I'm getting the more like the the Porto kind of uh, vinous. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. It it makes the Sabatine taste that much better. It makes the (laughs) Sabatine feel like a real banger. Wow, that fresh one, though. The fresh one is where it's at. You know, you might want to go from six four-packs. Just get two cases. That'd be 12 four-packs. I mean, you got friends. You got friends. I know everyone has friends. Well, that was fun, Jason. Thanks for taking a trip down memory lane. And, uh, you know, enjoying uh, what we have to offer in this fresh holiday season. If you have the fresh stuff, drink it. If you have the old stuff, drink it. Just drink it.